Hi guys, and welcome to part 2 of my Operation Forecastle series. If you missed part 1 and want to check it out, there's a link in the description to that, but you can just watch this as a standalone if you like. Currently, our aim is to get everyone onto the ship, so we take and hold the main deck, making sure to cover as many fire angles as possible. This deck. to secure the main deck. The goal now of course is to clear the remaining hostiles, secure the prisoners and take hold of the ship. Have another man forwards! Take the stairs. There's a man dead on them. Enemy at the end. Enemy on the top deck at the end. Get down! Get down! Let's go! Run! On the floor! Let's go! Let's push! Holding this position allowed my squad to carefully advance up the stairs in unison and take the top deck without worrying about being shot in the back. Once they began to emerge on top, I decided to move up, checking the immediate area, flanking anyone on the top deck in the process, making it harder for hostiles to defend against. So move! Out! Oh, yeah, Out! Oh, yeah, Out. Oh, yeah, move! Three! Two! One! Regrouping with 
with my team in one of the upper sections of the engine rooms, we made an interesting discovery. Hey guys, what's the score? What's the score? That side should be clear, that doorway. I was around there a second ago. Have a go. Do you cut the key or the butt? the surrounding areas while another squad attempted to gain access to the front of the ship. Friendly up top. Engine room. Right, let's go. As it turned out, the squad at the front of the ship had suffered serious casualties and they were in dire need of reinforcements. Going in. The plan was that we would attempt to eliminate the resistance at the front of the ship that resulted in our casualties previously while they guarded the prisoners. However, things don't always go to plan. Coming in from the other side as well, like our oh, guys. very quickly. At this point in time, I was really wishing I had that grenade. Look, if you got any BFGs, would be ideal for this entrance now. Yeah, he is. That's it, so when that BFG goes down, you've got to lad straight down the ladders in there. Give us your move.
Handcuffs. Handcuffs. We don't need many more down there. Shoot the rest. <laughs> Having finally breached what I now refer to as the ladder of death, we managed to secure the rest of the hostages and the ship. At this point our objective was secured and it was time to swap over. If you want you can stop watching now or you can continue watching to see what is basically a very dark segment of me hiding. Um, I only put a short amount of this in because watching 20 minutes of it seemed unnecessary but needless to say I was never actually caught and that was pretty fun. So if you are interested in watching the rest of this video, um, just for curiosity's sake, feel free. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment and you can follow me on Twitter if you want to find out when the next video will be coming out. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. So at this point, if you're still watching, what you're seeing is I've split the screen. The top is post after I've edited it, and you can see better in uh, essentially pseudo night vision. And the bottom screen is how it was picked up by my camera. That's some horrible um, shit back And that here. is actually, I don't know if it's as good as my eyes, but it was very, very dark in there, and it was extremely hard to see, which is why I haven't actually put in most of this segment. Um, it wouldn't make for good viewing, but you can see how dark it is spent much of my time um, in this dark room just playing around with what we thought was a bomb. Um, I think that was actually an objective at some point, but as I said before, the objectives weren't actually known to us. They varied. It was compliant, non-compliant boarding, um, and depending on what we did, um, we had to find the objectives, find the bombs, find the people, that kind of thing. So yeah, as on, on the flip side of it, finding the bomb as someone who was trying to hide, um, was pretty interesting to play around with, but again, you can't see much of it. Look, it's, it's plastic, it's clearly not actually anything important, but... Rave. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video where I make use of Riot Gear as a juggernaut and hunt down everyone I could find in the woods.